Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Scholar, and today we got some NHL content with the dirtiest hits of all time. I'm an NBA fan. I know people always like the NBA is soft. You touch him, it's a foul, and da 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 da. Not gonna lie, I agree. So right now we're gonna watch some real hard hitting, you know, contact sport, like some real men and women out there that you know enjoys it. So please, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Join the fam, and yeah, let's get it. Denver. Blues coming running back at Sunquist. Whoa. As he gets cleaned out by Wilson. Damn. Sunquist stays down. And a host of Blues are coming to the talk side to Forty Red. Off guard, off guard is right like the away. worst. Okay, you don't even see it coming. And they're going after Wilson for sure. Blues have been taking a one-goal lead before Chicago tied both games late. Oh, I didn't even see that. Down the, left wing. the shoulder to the jaws. That's how dirty, yeah. <laughs> the shoulder to the jaw is dangerous. It was a hit where Hosa cut to the middle of the ice. Well, as we mentioned, going to break, Torres has a history. Sorry for pausing already, right? But I just wanted to point it out that I love the NHL for one thing. Well, not really for one thing, but one thing I love about the NHL that they allow you to like throw hands, fight it out like real men. All right, you fell. Okay, cool. Break it up. I love that. All right, not no technical foul, suspension. You miss games. I don't like. Come on, bro. Like we're real men out there that are trying to compete. Of course, they're gonna have some type of like you know, let it play on, bro. All right, no more pauses. Damn, that was so uncalled for. It's this arm. Oh, man. I hope he's okay. Well, obviously he's okay, but... You again, I think. The Red Wing player near the bench Damn. was dropped. Hit him right from behind and jammed him right into the boards. Oh, he's bleeding. Vanquished the Boston Bruins here today, but here's Lucic into the zone. Drops it off and a high shot sails over the shoulder. Oh, oh one of the Bruins. Blocked. One Matt of the Bruins Cook. just got blasted. Matt Cook, uh, the hit. No, that's, that's, personal. Shot was <laughs> that's personal. That's personal. They're going at Cook right now. And one of the Bruins on his backside. One thing I can't stand is a dirty player, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you're willing, you're willing to risk someone else's career for your own, like, you know, like whatever you're doing it for. Jerla again. This time he's bumped by Babbitt. Running spins McPhee around. Jerla is down and he's hurt as he was hit by Bird. Teammate, teammate, can and someone check Shane on him, Churla please? Still down. Hello, Holy teammate. Mackerel. Anyone? I cannot believe that Van Helman did not see this. Churla is wow. out cold and wasn't looking at all for Pavel Burry, who really caught him with an elbow. That's even tough anything. guy, tough Depends. guy. But here's McCammon going wide. Tries to put it right out front, side of the net. And Itamaki finds the handle. He's face down. Is hurt. Somebody oh. better look after. Uh, I can't stand stupid people. Teammate, why aren't you checking on your team? So you'd rather fight wearing blades on your foot while your teammate is face down on ice. You would rather fight and risk getting stepped on with blades. Bro, come on, man. Dean McCammon, who's getting piled on and has not... I'm sorry for pausing all the time, but, like, come moved. on, man. Like... Wow. And you know what? The, the problem is for Steve Downey. He's an aggressive player, but there's a fine line, and he has been known in the past to cross that line a little bit, and it looks like he might have done it on that play. The stretcher? Yeah, damn. Well, Nazareth, they go after more. Call it the mile high hit that led to the mile, mile high, high madness <laughs> that will undoubtedly put more edge into an already heated rivalry. It just mystifies me. You know, why this happens in, in this league. You know, they talk about players not having respect for players. How about the officials? Should they not have uh, respect for the league score in the league? 
Upon further review, this much is clear. Nasland was yeah, in a vulnerable was position. Steve Moore had no interest in playing the puck, and he leaned into the Canuck cap. Oh, I see. There's a giveaway. Turn John, score! Nice. No. Yeah, fight, 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 fight. Yeah, we love to see some action. Yeah, throw some hands. Damn. Wait, what? And I didn't even see what happened. Boy, there's a devil player. <laughs> I, He's I don't sleeping. Know who it is, who fell all by himself right in front of the entrance to the Leaf dressing room and has not moved much. Niedemeyer going into the Leaf zone deep. And then he turns to come back, and oh. Domi just crunches oh. him with an elbow. Make sure, get him to the hospital to make sure that. That's yeah, right. that's definitely Ty a Domi's concussion, bro. Like, no, nah, that's uncalled for. That should be some some spe the... That should at least be like three to four game suspension right there, bro. Like an elbow like that to the that's dangerous. He could have killed him right there. So, oh, Pat's already. He's down face first as Chara angled him, and Pacioretty was lined up against. Did his head the hit the pole? Glass between the two benches. This is a very or the glass. hazardous part of the ice. This has been suspended 41 games for an illegal check to the head on Jakob Silverberg in Saturday night's preseason game. This is. I'm here talking about three, four games. They getting suspended for 41 games. Suspension is the third longest for an on ice incident in NHL Damn. history and the longest since Marty McSorley's one year ban in 2000. That's literally the half the season because I think they play the same amount of games as um the NBA, um 82 games, right? It's his fifth career suspension. He will forfeit over $440,000. Damn. Theodore. That would teach him a lesson. Oh, what a hit from McClure. Oh, my. Oh. Zednick, uh, I don't know if he knows what city he's in right now. Oh, did McLaren come across? And the thing to remember, Don bro, he got clotheslined backhand to the f nah, bro, nah, nah. This this has to be go. This this beef has to go be on ice, off ice after games. Nah, bro, nah. There's no way I'm letting that series. go. It's not just a game. Zednick is woozy. Riesbois went he up came. the right away. The referee had his arm up for a penalty. The fans throw more litter on the ice here. Oh, gosh almighty. Now they have, were extremely careful as they uh, placed Damn, Zetnik on the stretcher. And he's keeping him out of danger. I hope he's okay. Doesn't that come down to an angle play? Oh, we got a, we got a penalty coming to Cook. He got McDonough up high. Clocked him in the down. He might be gone. He might be gone. Derek I don't know how many broken jaws, ha like, right now. I could have joined the N NHL. Cross the line, Dolan. Back for Madonna. Oh, was he hit? Messier looked like he hit him in the head with the shoulder. And Madonna may have been knocked out here. Well, he got him. I don't think Madonna knew Messier was behind him. Mark Messier bumped Modano just as the puck I'm got surprised. to him. And he is they injured seriously. They haven't, like, redesigned the helmet. Yeah, to cover like the jaw, being that they get hit so often in the jaw with elbows. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nah, nah, uh uh. I was suing some. Are these. The first day on the job is crazy. Nah, it has to be the first day on the job. There's no way you drop someone that's laying on a stretcher, bro. There's no way that happened. A professional athlete. The fact they caught that on camera, too. <laughs> I just can't, I can't believe we just saw that. Wait, so did this show that, like, through, like during the game on yeah, national TV? Yeah, they're getting fired. He's holding his face, gets back up. And Cook's going to go after Keith here. 
Or is that Keith that was, that was Who is the dirtiest the player of them all in the NHL? You didn't see what hit him. I think it was Duncan Duncan Keith in the corner. Jumping in. It has to have someone as notorious. It's like Dr it's like Draymond Green, but like the NHL version of Draymond Green. Like who was that person in the NHL? Oh my! Just kind of lost control at that point in time, and the game really got out of hand. And for those thinking back, he holds his face too. Bro, they're evil. He never saw him coming, and wow, Tanner Carroll's oh, in no. a world of hurt here. He got the pass up the boards. Connolly came in, and he was just trolley tracking, and the puck went out. There was nowhere near Carroll. Like, and he what looked is like a he legal was hit? Out on his so, feet like, on the way down. I guess and, only the chest. Anything and above the, the shoulder the is illegal. I'm guessing. Tyson Berry taken down by Cook, and that's going to be a penalty to Matt Cook. As he takes down Tyson Berry with a knee, and Damn. Berry is slow to go back to the he Colorado bench. Berry just went by me there and said, I'm done. That would be a shattering blow yeah. for the Avalanche. Fight, fight. I just love when teammates come to defend. Because you know when you play sports, like, your teammate basically becomes like your family member. Because you spend so much time with them. Down. And shot. Now Another one. Bro, there's so many dirty players. Unless it's like the same people over and over. <laughs> attempts to hit Sedin at center ice and or Crystal. Crystal trying to go around Murphy and does with one hand looking short side. Oh, what a hit on Murphy. Did he just did like a flying in knee? I guess flying elbow, if that's a move. <laughs> he hit him with a Superman elbow. <laughs> he landed on his head. No weight at all on his left leg as he scoots back toward the Ottawa. Recovered by Buffalo around on the boards. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be a penalty there, and it should be a dandy. Chalmerson should be fight, gone. Fight, fight, fight. He should be gone. That was a dirty, rotten hit from behind, and the player never even had the puck. Oh, yeah, he's out of there. <laughs> he's out of there. He just got crushed. See Jason Pominville being taken off the ice now with the medical status. That whiplash, no sword he's gonna be for the next like week or so. Has a head hit yeah. by Wilson. Yeah, that was high. That was distant, and it was high, and it was intentional. Wilson is running around like he did earlier in his career. Damn, he yeah, big as hell. Brandon Carlo. Bro, props for the for people back in the days that has to watch it in this quality because my eyes right now. Good hit by Marshman just finishing his second. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's the right knee that Newendike was grabbing. And he's being helped off the ice by two of his teammates, Zuboff and Hall. Shoot that puck. Pollock run into by Austin Watson, and a shot went through a cluster of players, and a collision now. And down on the ice is one of the Predators. There'll be a penalty coming up. Yeah, that's Ryan Ellis is down, down, and Corey Perry got a load of him. Corey Perry is gone. Number 10, five in game for Albuin. For Albuin. Get him out of here. Et les deux euh, évoluent euh, ensemble maintenant. Il y aura pénalité. C'est euh, Ruchinski. 
Il y a un joueur qui est resté tendu Pierre au centre de la Bro, this audio is insane. Je ne sais pas s'il est blessé sérieusement, mais Extol qui demande aux soigneurs là d'accélérer et de venir rejoindre Svoboda le plus rapidement possible. Oh. <laughs> it looks like he needs a stretcher too. He goes up ice with Nash. Marchand shot saved by Appleby. He Ooh. covers up and Johansson reaches to his face as Marchand went tumbling through. You always have to be concerned that a oh, player might came. catch the blade of somebody skating a collision like that. Nah, that's crazy. Frankly, I don't even know if Marchand was aware of Johansson's body Check position. Check last night there. at home against the mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Check out the action. Rice just crushes Ooh. Valery Karpov. No penalty on the play, Bear. Well, Valery Karpov... He's snoring, literally. Also, but you see him raise the forearm. That's a forearm shiver. It's an elbowing penalty. He should have got at least a double minor for uh, elbowing that kid. Uh, hopefully, Valery's not hurt. Yeah, he needs to be suspended. Send that tape into the league, and I'll be very surprised if Brian Burke does not suspend. Very similar. We saw Norman Lovier in the Aprix when that happened to us. You're just totally numb. You see a player Damn. like that, a friend. But no one is there helping. The ice. That's what uh, I don't you get. You just don't know what to think. You, you just sort of shut down. And, uh, and, and you're just so concerned uh, for your friend that he would be in that type of position. A devastating play. Um, Randy Jones clearly uh, deserved a major penalty there. We, we, we can't help but lose the irony yeah. of Hatcher and Rona going in together when you consider that they got together back Bro, in he got hit so hard because the guy Gary pushed him. Rearranged the job, JR. Yep. The last second of the game we talked about Scott Pellerin. Oh and no! The shoulder of Brian Marshman that puts them down. Some fisticuffs ensued shortly thereafter. And he's saying why by Chara stops up, got sandwiched by Chara and Tommy Wingles, and then in came Dawson Cadre, and the play is stopped. And I think it's Cadre that's going to get the penalty. I'd be worried that Cadre's going to be gone on this one. He came late as Wingles avoided the first hit. And Kadri came he cannot avenge his Kadri teammate. Out of the game at four to one hey, the teammate got hit first in the face. Back near side, Gomez. Well, he might have made sure not to put that landing on. Passed out near side, Sephora trying to draw it around. Oh, that's very dirty. <laughs> that's, that's in the face. He's snoring. And it's beat on his stick. He moves it. Guys, that's interference. Yeah, he don't even have Never the um, the puck. Coming because Stevens came from his right and he was looking left. He was young, but he missed on the far side. Oh, down the ice. Neely slow getting up. He's upended. He's still. I don't know about that one. There. At the Boston Blue Line, Neely has been hurt. He's going off. Should there have been a penalty on the play? You check this out. Now watch Old Samuelson's knee right there, knee to knee. So Neely on I the mean, Boston bench. Clear Evans is going to get down there first. The net is empty. Can he tuck it in? He oh. does. Pays a price, but scores the goal. Damn. He got whacked. At least he, at least he scored the goal, but he got whacked. coming back defensively to make a play, but you're in a vulnerable spot at this point, and it's basically over. And he runs through the yeah. check of Evans. <laughs> he got whacked. Lindros remains down on the ice. He's coming through. He Rip. beats Niedermeyer. Head is down. And it's a shoulder right to the jaw of Lindros. You have to feel for Lindros and everything he has Lindros. tried to battle back from. He took a brief pop on the button on his chin from Steve Kelly of the Devils in game number six. And Lindros was okay. Juice World is one of the many icons of modern hip hop. What the hell? Or oh, I guess that was it for that video. It just cut off just like that. What the hell just happened? Or right, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.